guys, this is uh, Chris here, going to show you guys how to do a uh, infinite scrolling background. Okay, if you um, don't have our the setup that I have, just watch my other video on my uh, YouTube channel, and then you can get caught up to where we're at right now. All right, one of the things if you've done the other video, you'll notice that I did move the uh, let background equals sk sprite node image named one. I moved that up here above the view that did move to view method. And what that is going to do is it's going to we're going to be able to access this variable in other methods. <clears throat> okay. So what we have right now so far, I'll build and run it. You can see. <clears throat> this is what we have so far. All right. Now the, the ground, which is that background, has some stars and the moon. All right. So let me end that and make sure you can see where I had it in the last video. I had lit background in the um, did move to view, and I've just moved it up here. Just comment it out so you can see. Now, in order to get an infinite scrolling background. What we're going to do is create another um, background. Okay, and we're going to call it background two. And what's going to happen is it, as this background moves to the left, then the other background is going to move in behind it. And when that background gets to about here, then we're going to reset the first background back over here and it's going to keep doing it and then reset that one and it's going to create an infinite loop. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, let's see what I've got. <clears throat> I'm going to create another variable here and put this one underneath. I got my thing over here. Get it out of the way. I'm going to put that underneath this other variable. So we're gonna call this one background two. Okay. So let background two equal this case probably no image name one. It's just, just the same image. Okay. Now what we're gonna need to do <coughs> is we're going to need to Okay. So, so far right here we have a ground background two dot anchor point equals cg point zero ground two dot position equals cg point make. So we make a point, and we're, for the x we're going to get the size of the the width. I mean of the um of our background image. Okay. And then that's going to be the x minus one, so it can be like right behind the uh, first background image, and then the, uh, and of course a zero for the y. Okay. Then all we got to do now is just add that to the screen, and we won't see it because it'll be off the screen. Okay. And then just like before, add child to background. Okay. <coughs> All right, so let's zoom in so you guys can see a good picture of that. See that? Okay. Um. Now what we're gonna do? Oops. Heels. We're gonna create a going to create an update function. Now, this is one of the oh, a function that needs to be overridden, okay? And this function is called update, and what it does is it this function is called 60 times per second. Okay? And this is the function that's going to create the animation. All right, so we're just going to type in uh, it should hopefully auto complete for us. Function update, there it is right there. Ok, 
Okay. So this is our function. Okay. Now, what do we want to happen? 60 times per second. Okay. So we're going to move. We're going to just where we're going to make our images, our background images move. All right. So the first one, a little space. The first one will be the first background, the original one we put there. It says background.position equals CG point. And the X is going to be ground.position.x minus 4. So every, for so 60 times a second, it's going to subtract 4 off of the current X, uh, X position, off that anchor point. Okay? And it's not going to do anything to the Y. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing to the second background image. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in there. There it is. Now this one is saying background 2 dot position minus 4. And okay. Same deal pretty much. You see that? Okay. Now, so that's what's going to happen. But... That doesn't, that's not going to reset it back to the beginning. So what we need to do is we need to, to be able to detect when it gets to a certain, when that first one is to a certain point, and this guy, background two is to a certain point, it will reset it back. So what we do there is we're going to do a if statement, which will be, so we'll say, Let me, read, let me get it on here and I'll read it out to you. <clears throat> and we, okay. So what this says here, go back up, okay. If background.position.x is less than negative, so let's say the width of this background, I believe it's, uh, I hope it gets the width of that. Let's check it out and see. So it's about 1,000. No, the width is about 2,048 pixels. So, this will be 2,048, okay? If this 2,048 is less than, well, I don't know how I want to say it. So, if the basically, if the position is less than the negative, of, than the width of 2,048. So, if this position is less than negative 2,048, because that's what this is, then it's going to reset the background to its original position. hope that made sense. hope I didn't confuse you too much. And now, you're going to kind of do the same thing to the other one. Okay, what have I got going on here? Embrace. Okay, what I got? What's this one? So I just need another bracket here. Yeah, got rid of that. Problem, I think. Let me figure out what's going on with these brackets. Okay. All right, I figure out my brackets. Uh, somehow I only went away. Anyway, they're back. Okay, so with this second one here, if ground two dot position dot x is less than its width, then it's going to reset that guy back to its original position, which was ground dot position dot x plus ground plus the width of the background so that pretty this one pretty much set it right behind set this one right behind this one okay and I believe that's all we need to do in order to make this um, an infinite scrolling background what I should do though is um, it's gonna move kind of slow so we sit sitting here forever well it'll, it'll get the picture all right let me go ahead and build and run it And there you go. <clears throat> I do see a little error right here. 
we did never set the Z position for this new. This must be background two, and this Z position didn't set. So let me go ahead and check that out. Where is uh, background Z position two? I'm just gonna cut and paste this guy here because it's gonna be in the same Z position as background one. And I should make that disappear. Let's build and run it again. Make sure it works. Oh, it's not working there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let me see what's going on. Oh, there, duh. I'm so stupid. Alright, there we go. Good job. There it goes. Alright, works. Alright. Hope this has been helpful. Leave comments below if you got a better way to do something. Um, Alright, talk to you guys later.